Greetings to all, this is Chancellor North Wales. This is the late July 2019 build, the A model Yak 50 in 172nd scale. Now the Yak 50 is a Russian built uh, aerobatic aircraft based upon the two seater trainer. This is a single seater version. It has a retractable undercarriage in either the uh, tail dragger or the tricycle format. Um, it seems to be a, a part of a, a whole series of Yak aircraft of this type. Early versions of the aircraft it did have uh, problems with the uh, main spar, uh, which after 50 hours of heavy use had a propensity to fail. Um, any surviving aircraft feature have the uh, spar strengthening kit or update ver updated versions. I bought the kit um, this year at the crew model show along with the Yak-53. The sprue quality is okay, uh, but basic and a bit soft in places, with quite a nice but rather cramped decal sheet. As always, you start by clipping the bits of the sprue, and one thing to be noticed about uh, A model kits is that the sprues seem to be quite uniformly small I believe that's due to the uh, injection moulding uh, capability they have um, with a number of sprue gates and a bit of time and care needs to be taken over this Something to be aware of um, is that often the uh, sprue attachment points will overlap with the mating surfaces. So again, uh, time and uh, care needs to be taken on the cleaning up, especially after the cutting off from the sprue. A lot of sanding down, checking the uh, mating surfaces. Um, A model kits in my mind are all about assembly. Test fit, test fit test fit. Um, that small panel in front of the cockpit, um, cockpit floor, everything needs to be checked. Uh, nothing will fit first time off. Um, as can be seen there, that required a fair bit of work just to get it to sit right. Interior was painted in Tamiya grey and the instrument panel in black. After the painting, to ensure that uh, the, the uh, cockpit sat properly, I did have to scrape off the paint. The seat belts were made up, as always, of uh, masking tape, painted the appropriate colour, and cut into fine strips, and then just applied to the seats. I know photo etch belts look a lot better, um, but this is a fairly simple effective method. You can then paint in uh, the seat bu uh, belt buckles and where there aren't any seat belts that tends to be my preferred uh, method. The canopy, um, because the uh, main frame lines were quite indistinct I used thin uh, bits of marking uh, tape to first define the main edges and then filled in the areas around them. Normally I try to burnish in um, the canopy lines and then cut uh, cut the shape out but where that's indistinct you have to just build it up off strips which is what I was doing there so that's very much the initial phase of the uh, canopy masking I think it's always has to be borne in mind that a model kits molding can be a bit soft and you have to take that into account Filling was in this case with a uh, squadron uh, putty. Uh, I tend to use a variety of putties. Uh, I sometimes actually will vary them between pro uh, projects, um, either squadron, deluxe products, uh, Revell putty, and uh, Mr. Surfacer as well. In this case, I decided to use the squadron putty, giving it a reasonable bit of drying time in between applications and then sanding back with multiple grades of sanding uh, media. Again, checking, sanding, and um, reapplying in a cycle.
There I was just painting in the areas forward and aft of the cockpit with the same basic uh, cockpit grey, the rear cockpit grey that I've used uh, for this project. And that's before installing the canopy because the canopy is going to be overlapping it and uh, I wasn't too worried about um, overlap and neatness there. Even after this, as you can imagine, I spotted more areas of, of uh, filling. In this case, um, extra attention had to be applied to the uh, leading edges of the wings. Again, with an A model kit, you really have to be checking a, uh, the gaps uh, all over the aircraft as you go along. Uh, checking, filling, refilling, reworking it, sanding it back until you're happy. And that's always on the first pass as well. Um, I use uh, dentists and uh, sculpting tools uh, normally for applying the uh, putty and have a small collection of those. And again, often refilling areas I've previously reworked until I'm happy with the surface and then often rescribing afterwards as well. Uh, though on this kit there wasn't an excessive amount of rescribing, there was a bit but not too much. So with the undercarriage att attached, I put down uh, a, uh, a gray basis. I was going to be painting it white. I needed something that the white would show up on clearly. And so a mid gray uh, base of uh, Tamiya paint uh, provides me with a good starting point. I also find it gives me a good keying surface for the Vallejo paints um, that I do rather like to use as well. So my, my normal preferred method is, and you've seen this with the other projects, is to use Vallejo on a Tamiya base or entirely Tamiya. I find going the other way around can give problems. Invariably more filling and in this case I used uh, Deluxe uh, Products Putty where the main gap had been filled and it was a bit shallower there. I also because it dries quite quick, you can uh, check the areas over, give them a refill, sand them back again, and uh, then rework it yet again. Just pa painting always shows up. So after a um, coating of Vallejo, I applied uh, Johnson's Clear. The um, red area uh, for the uh, grill covering the radial engine that was just hand painted with uh, Tamiya Red. Um, the underside I also uh, airbrushed Tamiya Red. I made a slight mistake with this one of uh, putting the masking tape on too soon and that took a bit of issue, created some issues. The decals went on reasonably well and uh, apart from the stripe down the side. So there you can see me um, applying the tail decals. Uh, what I discovered with them was that the uh, white on them was slightly different uh, to the white on the rest of the model. So it's a different shade, but I let that one go. On uh, past yaks, I've uh, painted the stripes in uh, by masking and by hand. In this case, I used the decals. Yeah. They, they passed muster for what they were. The side stripers can be seen, I said I had problems with that disintegrating, so I ended up uh, masking and painting that in by hand, but it lacks the border pinstripe. So it's a little bit basic, but it, the, the decal on the side just wasn't holding together. Again, I uh, settled the decals with Microset and Microsole. You can see there a bit more about the stripe. Um, it was a bit tricky to get that even and also the area around the cowling. After that came the, uh, few, the upper fuselage, uh, the upper wing uh, decals. Now in other builds I would have actually painted these on rather than struggling with that but I decided to use the um, uh, kit decals on this one and in all fairness um, these didn't settle too bad bit tricky to handle took a bit of positioning and uh, then the edge with the uh, lower surface had to be uh, hand painted in but still I think came out reasonably neat 
I think I find A model decals can be a bit hit or miss. You can have very good ones, or you can have ones that are absolutely dreadful in colour part. I'm not a fan of how crowded the decal sheets are. Um, but if you're willing to work with them, cut around the uh, features, they can work out quite well. Again, microset and microsole um, used and applied extensively. Like anything like this, keep the surface well wetted when positioning and settling the decals down into place, working with brush and fingers there. So after the decaling came another coat of Johnson's Clear, uh, just to seal everything up. And there you have it finished. A rather neat little aircraft, just a quick one week project and I must admit I thoroughly enjoyed it. It goes together reasonably well and um, it may, I needed something quick, light and simple after the C-47 uh, project. If you've never built an A model kit before, I must admit I would thoroughly recommend the Yak 50, 52, 53. They're all decent kits, though bearing in mind if you have the tricycle undercarriage, you will need to bear, uh, make sure you put the right nose weights in. Um, I've built one before and if you go back over my videos you will see an earlier build of, of a, uh, I think it was a Yak 51, uh, the two-seater version, so uh, quite an attractive little aircraft. So what I will say guys is once again thank you for watching, happy modelling. Uh, God bless, this is Chancellor North Wales signing out.